Catherine's last day at home before starting a three-year course. Following the family tradition, she is to be a teacher and she has chosen to go to Chester. She is having tea with her mother and a last look around the garden. This is the entrance to Chester College, usually the new student's first view of the place. At the rear of the college is the hostel where Catherine is to stay for her first year. The River Dee passes through Chester, but the main feature of the city is the Roman Wall, which even now goes almost all the way round the ancient parts. Today the family is visiting Catherine. You can see her here with her mother and youngest brother Robin on the wall. They're looking across to the river. This bridge is part of the wall. You can see people walking over it. We will now take a walk around the wall to notice some of the places that can be seen. First, the Roman garden. Similarly, we can see Fourgate Street, and here is Eastgate Street. Further round the wall is a museum, which commemorates King Charles' connection with the city. For this shot, the cameraman is Robin. On the north side, the wall runs adjacent to a canal. No boats today, I admit. Mean. Fate day. Across the college grounds you can see the college buildings and people getting ready for the fate. Within the college building complex, Rachel and Catherine are trying their luck at the stalls. We'll see what that is a little bit later. Catherine and her friends are amusing the children with all the hoop, but they don't seem quite to have the knack. Yes, 
Catherine tries the hula hoop the easy way and earns some ribald remarks and sarcastic clapping from her friends. Back to the competition, which is for Miss Hot Pants. On the balcony, the contestants are ready and waiting for judging time. Below, the crowd are ready for judging time, and it is judging time. is here with her mother in Northgate Street. Eastgate Street we have already seen. Bridge Street goes to the south. Watergate Street to the west. Ah, you can't keep them out of antique shops. They are walking down Watergate Street towards Nicholas Street. And now, in Nicholas Street, they are walking towards the flat which Catherine used during her last year at college and also for some years afterwards. This new bridge in Nicholas Street is part of the wall that is built adjacent to Water Tower Street. It shows the position of a Roman tower. Now we are in the country for a day out. We stop for a moment in a country lane. I take out my notebook to recall the details of some of the films I've taken. It's market day in Melbourne. It's rather busy here. Let's have a look at the church. First the view from the end. Now inside the church, you can look at the windows.
cake indicates that it's party time. Catherine comes to look at her 21st birthday cake. At parties, I'm expected to make the bread. To make good bread, you need to treat the dough roughly. But perhaps not so roughly that you feel the need to throw it away. Party is now on and in full swing. Old friends and new are here. Betty, we have seen before, is in the right corner. There's Nikki. Now Trisha. Here you can see Ruth and Stephen Hanks and Catherine's cousin Ken, who's in the far corner. Uncle Bill handles the champagne expertly. please while Catherine cuts the cake. Catherine is triumphant. Victory over cake is complete. Now it's going down day, 16th of June, 73. In the second year, the students an improvisation suitable for use in schools. It is based on a Korean folk tale and entails repetition and representation involving circular forms and rhythms. The peasants are going about their normal tasks, fishing, planting rice, chopping wood. The woodcutter is Alison Jones, but they are set upon by a warrior type the fire devils, who bring their efforts to naught. They seek advice from the Emperor, played here by Philip Harris, who suggests that they obtain the services of the Rain Dragon. The Rain Dragon appears, and is really Maeve Etherington and Marilyn Thompson. successful so that the villagers ultimately can live in peace. Catherine and her mother are suitably attired for the going down ceremony.
On the stage, college staff, visiting speaker, are assembled. The ceremony over, the students and parents are coming away from the hall. Catherine is now a fully qualified teacher after her three years hard work.